hey everyone welcome back so this is uh, another scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer okay so before moving into the questions part let me show you i have imported two tables that is customer table and the sales table okay so if you want to see the data what exactly it contain then click on this table view okay and this is the customer table and this customer table contain two column that is customer id and name column all right then the next table is called as the sales table and this sales table contain the id for this sales table okay and this is the customer id and this is the amount that has been spent by the customer okay and now if you want to see the relationship between these two tables then just click on this model view and here you can see this is a sales table and this is a customer table and these two tables has been linked with each other by the help of this customer id okay because in customer table the customer id is a primary key and here it is the foreign key all right then just click on this report view to see the table here so that it will be easy to uh, recall okay this is a customer table it contain the customer id and the name and this is a sales table that is id customer id and the sum of amount all right so now out of these two tables whatever data is available on this two table i have just created that same thing here okay so don't be confused same thing is available here also okay so now my requirement is that we have to generate a new table okay we have to generate a new table from these two existing table that is customer and the sales table right where the new table should have only the record from the customer table that does not match with any record in the sales table okay so now just by looking into these two tables you can imagine the output right here these are the customer id 1 2 3 4 and in this sales table the customer id is only 1 and 2 right so this 3 and 4 these two records are not available in this particular sales table it means Neeraj and Shreya, these two persons has not purchased anything, right? That's why their record. Yeah, it means the customer ID three and four is not available in this particular sales table. Got it? So the output should give you the result as the three Neeraj, four and the Shreya. Okay, let me show you the output. So here you can see this is the output table for us. Okay, so we have to create this table from this two table. Okay, where the new table have only the record from the customer table. that does not match with any record in the sales table so this is the requirement all right so now let's see how we can achieve this got it so as for the questions or we can say as for the requirement we have to create a new table right so to create a new table what you have to do first of all you have to click on this table view okay then click on this new table okay and then you can rename this as difference so difference table okay equal to now first of all we have to use one dex function called as the filter okay because we have to filter the record from the customer table as per the requirement the all the output should come from the customer table right that's why we are using the filter dex functions on this customer table okay and this filter functions take two argument that is table name and filter expression then now again we have to use the not functions okay so here it is just click enter then again open the bracket and inside this bracket we have to use another dex function called as contain okay so this is the dex functions contain and this dex functions take the argument as a table name then column 1 and column 2 All right, and it returns the table if there exist at least one row where all columns have specified values. All right, so here we will take the table name as the cells. All right, then give the comma. Then again here we have to enter the customer ID from the cells table. Then give the comma, and again we have to write the another column name that is customer ID from the customer table okay then close the bracket again close the bracket again close the bracket and click enter all right and here you can see we have successfully created a new table that is called as the reference table and this reference table contain two column that is customer id column and name column okay and this value are only coming from the customer table which is not available in the sales table right 
so let me explain the dex functions that i have written here it means here i have used the filter dex function for the customer table where it does not contain any record from the sales table okay and here this sales table and this customer table has been linked on the basis of the customer id column of the sales table and customer id column of the customer table that's why we have written this text functions that is filter customer table that is not contain any record in the sales table where the customer id column of the sales table is linked with customer id column of the customer table okay now let's move to the report view okay then then just copy any particular table from here okay then drag it to here okay then here in this table just remove the data from here okay then click on this difference table that we have recently created and drag the customer id and name column into this column section got it now here you can see this is the output but still we are able to see the wrong value here because here the customer id it has taken the count so right click on it then click on this don't summarize okay and here you can see it contained the record of three Niras, four and Shreya, right because these are the two people called as Niras and Shreya. those two customer are available in this customer table but those are not available in the sales table that's why the output is looking like this that's why in the output sections we are getting those two records okay there is three nearest and four and Shreya. got it so in this way you can create a new table that should have only the record from the customer table that does not match with any record from the sales table all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye